नमस्कार फ्रेंड्स फ्रेंड्स एज यू नो दैट आई एम एन एडवोकेट एंड माय स्पेशलाइजेशन इज ऑन प्रिवेंटिव डिटेंशन आई हैव बीन प्रैक्टिसिंग इन बॉम्बे हाई कोर्ट सिंस अगस्त 2010 एंड द मोस्ट ऑफ द केसेस व्हिच आई हैव आर गुड बिफोर ऑनरेबल judges in bombay high court were pertaining to preventive detention especially kafe posa that is conservation of foreign exchange and prevention of smuggling activities act 1974 friends when i was pursuing my bsc in dev college dehradun that time during the preparation of competitions kafe posa full form was being asked in various competitive exams so we used to prepare what is kafe posa this and that i never dreamt of that i would join custom department and will deal with this matter anyway that is my personal history after a long long time i have come across a judgment of supreme court wherein supreme court has held that three months limit under article 224 in bracket a is only for the purpose of advisory board and not for the detention order as a whole this judgment has been passed on 16th of august 2023 by a bench of chief justice and justice pardiwala and justice manoj mishra the author of the judgment is justice jb pardiwala Justice J.B. Pardi Wala was heading taxation bench in Gujarat High Court when he was High Court judge. He was also dealing with PASA, Prevention of Anti-Social Activities Act in Gujarat, and other detention matters. So, without wasting much of your time, let me go to the judgment itself and see what is the judgment. I'll show you the judgment. This is reportable judgment. Rising out of the SLP criminal number nine four. Nine two of two thousand twenty three. The petitioner is Peshala Nokhar Raju, and the respondent is government of Andhra Pradesh and others. Judgment, Pardi Wala, leave granted. This appeal is at the instance of the detainee preventively detained under Section three two of Andhra Pradesh Prevention of Dangerous Activities of Bootlegger, that is, drug offender, gunras, immoral traffic offender, and land grabber Act nineteen eighty six. For short, the Act 1986 and is directed against the order passed by the Division Bench of the High Court of Andhra Pradesh, dated 7/3/2023, in Writ Petition Number 336/38 of 2022, filed by the appellant herein, by which the Division Bench rejected the Writ Petition and thereby declined to interfere with the order of preventive detention passed by the District Collector, Kakinara District, Andhra Pradesh, dated 25 August 2022, in exercise of power under this. अब ये फैक्चुअल मैट्रिक्स है फैक्चुअल मैट्रिक्स में मैं जाता नहीं क्या हुआ है बिकॉज फैक्चुअल मैट्रिक्स इज स्पेसिफिक टू अ पर्टिकुलर केस आई विल गो टू द लीगल पॉइंट दस फ्रॉम द अप्रोच इट इज एविडेंट दैट द डिस्ट्रिक्ट कलेक्टर काफी डिस्ट्रिक्ट वॉज सब्जेक्टिवली सेटिस्फाइड बेस्ड ऑन द मटीरियल ऑन रिकॉर्ड दैट वीज ऑफ दिन 
is essential to the maintenance of public order accordingly according to the detaining authority that the respondent number 2 the respondent is a bootlegger as defined under section 2b of act 86 and with a view to preventing him from acting in any manner prejudicial to the maintenance of public order to respond necessary that the applicant be preventively detained now applicant ne applicant has uh, filed a petition in uh, andhra pradesh high court which was rejected and then the high court why is it not a deadline uh, to interfere and accordingly rejected the writ petition in such circumstances I refer to the above the applicant is here before this court with present appeal now submission kya bol raha submission of the applicant is that Miss Bhavna Das, the learned counsel appearing for the appellant detainee in her commission stated that preventive detention order can only be issued for three months at a time. She says that preventive detention order can be issued only for three months at a time. Now, this is the second thing. Second, the detention order is based on stale material. Stale material. Pile of push. Uske baare mein phir dusra ground liya, madam ne. Then, third ground kya hai inka? Ek minute dekhte hai, third ground kya hai. Third ground is ordinary law and order is sufficient to deal with situation. I am dealing with grounds taken by the Council of Petitioner before Supreme Court. Ordinary law and order is sufficient to deal with situation and there is no prejudice to the maintenance of public order. Let us see what judgment they have referred for still ground. Khaja Bilal Ahmed versus State of Telangana. Malad K. Sidiram, the state of Telangana. Okay, and those you know, they said that you have to Third, make your bull right? It's very hard to recover. You have to recover. We use Kantilal made the commissioner of questions 1989 on Prakash versus commissioner of police 1989. Uh, Ras Media versus Kya 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 Rika, the book. Rika, we ask me. Rika, a Mungala, Yamana, a Banksa, a very good judgment, very good judgment. Could be you. Fourth ground, we have detention order are disproportionate and sufficient, suffer from non application of mind. This is the fourth ground. Fifth ground is habeas corpus petition is mentally on behalf of the petitioner. Abye. Submission on behalf of the respondent. Mr. Mahfuz A. Naziki, the learned counsel appearing for the respondent in his written submission has stated thus. Interpretation of section uh, 3 in bracket 2 of 1986. Ke baat kya hai. The, thus, the period of one year mentioned in the order is strictly in accordance with 1986. Here, respondent will kaina hai. The detention order is not still. It has been contended by the petitioner that there is no proximate link between the act and the detention order. The said submission is misconceived before detaining the factual aspect. The following legal must be noted. If the ground from the chain chain tutti discussion. discussion. Before we advert to the rival submission conveyed on either side, we must look into the preamble and few relevant provision of act. 1986. Okay. Then the fourth set came into force with effect from 86. Section 2 reads a definition. Ki baat kar ye judgment ko lamba karne ke liye inki adat hoti hai. Judges ki ye log kafi aise hi bada dete hai. Phir ye section 13 ki baat kar rahe hai. Phir ab aage kya bol rahe hai? Essential concept of preventation. See, this is very important. The essential concept of prevented detention is that the detention of a person is not to punish him for something he has done, but to prevent him from doing it. 
basis of detention is the satisfaction of the execution or executive of a reasonable probability of the likelihood of the detainee acting in a manner similar to his past acts and preventing him by detaining uh, by detention from uh, doing the same a criminal conviction on the other hand is for is for an act already done which can only be possible by a trial and legal, legal. there is no parallel between the prosecution in court for law and detention under the Act 1986. One is punitive action and the other is preventive act. In, in one case, person is punished on proof of his guilt and the standard of proof is beyond the reasonable doubt. Whereas the other in the other, the person is detained with a view to prevent him from doing such act as may be specified in the act authorizing preventive detention. The power of detention is qualitative qualitatively different from preventive detention. The power of preventive detention is precautionary power exercisable in its reasonable anticipation. It may or may not relate to any offense. It is not a parallel proceeding. It does not overlap with persecution even if it relies on certain facts of which persecution may be launched or may have been launched. An order of preventive detention may be made before the during before or during the prosecution, an order of prosecution may be made with or without prosecution and anticipation or after discharge or, or even acquittal. The pendency of prosecution is no bar to an order of prosecution. Order of prosecution is also not a bar to prosecution. ये हरदन साफी को रेफर कर रहे हैं. ठीक है हरदन साफी is a very um, landmark judgment in preventive detention. Please note. अब यहाँ क्या बोल रहे हैं 21 में the ancient prerogative writ of habeas corpus takes the name from the two mandatory words habeas and corpus habeas corpus literally mean that have have his body the general purpose of these writ are as their nom name indicate was to obtain the production of the individual before a court or a judge this is a prerogative process for securing the liberty of the subject by affording an effective relief or immediate release from unlawful or unjustifiable Detention, whether in person or in private custody. Thus, this is a writ of such a sovereign and transcendent authority that no privilege or power or place can stand against it. It is very powerful safeguard of the subject. Anyway, <clears throat> therefore, it is an extraordinary remedy available to a citizen of country which he can enforce under Article 226 or Article 32 of the Constitution. Yeah, this corpus ki baat. It is the duty of the court to issue this writ to safeguard the freedom of the citizen against arbitrary and legal detention. Habeas corpus is a remedy designed to facilitate the release of person detained and lawful, not to punish the person detaining, and is not therefore issued after the detention complaint. Habeas corpus is the discussed article 21 protection of life and personal liberty. Submission number one. The Learned Council appearing for the appeal vehemently submitted that the High Court failed to proceed the order of detention could be termed as contrary to the provision to section 32 of referred to above as detention can only be enforced for a period of three months in the first year. According to the Learned Council, the government therefore may extend the period of not more than three months at a time so that there is periodic assessment and review as to whether the continuous detention of a person is necessary or not. In short, that some assumptions, the submission, the mission converse on behalf of the plain detainee is that the detention order issued passed for 12 months at a state could be termed as without jurisdiction and contrary to the mandate of subsection 2 of section 3 of the Act. In support of the said submission, the Learned Council has placed strong reliance on the decision of the court in the case of Cherukuri money. We must First, look into the decision of the court in Chirukarumani, as the same also deal with subsection 2 of 3 of 86. This court of Kota reproducing the entire section in this interpreted as held. A reading of the above provision makes it clear that the state government, district magistrate, or commissioner, or police, or the authorities conferred with the power to pass order of retention. The only difference is that the order of retention passed by the government could remain in force for a period of three months in the first instance. Whereas similar order passed by the district magistrate or the commissioner of police shall remain in force for an initial period of 12 months, 12 days, the continuation of detention period 12 days would depend upon the approval of the accord to be accorded by the government in this regard. Subsection 3 makes this aspect very clear. Section 13 of the Act mandate that the maximum period of detention order 
under that act is 12 month proviso to subsection 2 is very clear in its purport as to the operation of the order of detention from time to time in order of detention would be in the first instance be enforced for a period of three months the government alone is conferred with the power to extend the period beyond three months such extension however cannot be for a period exceeding three months at a time it means that if the government intend to detain an individual under the act for the maximum period of 12 months there must be an initial order of detention for a period of three months and at least three orders of extension for a period not exceeding three months each the expression extend such person such period from time to time by any period not exceeding three months at any one time assumes significance in this regard the recommendation to pass the detention order from time to time in the manner referred to ever has got its own significance. It must be remembered that restriction of initial period of detention to three months is nothing but implementation of the mandate contained in the class 4A of Article 22 of this. Okay, of the class 4A. No law providing for prevention detention shall authorize the detention of person for a longer period than three months unless an advisory board consisting of persons who are or have been are qualified to be appointed as judge of high court has reported before the expiration of the said period of three months that there is an opinion that there is in its opinion sufficient cause for such detention provided that nothing in this subsection shall authorize the detention of any person beyond the maximum period of prescribed by any law made by parliament under subsection Subclass B of uh, sub, uh, sub B of class seven are uh, be such person is detained in accordance with the provision of any law made by the parliament under subclass A and B of class seven. Where the law prescribe a thing to be done in a particular manner following a particular procedure, it shall be done in that in the same manner following the provisions of law without deviating from the prescribed procedure. When the provisions of the section three of act clearly mandated attached to pass an order of detention at one time for a period not exceeding three months only the government order in the present case directing detention of the husband of the friend for a period of 12 months at a stage is clear violation of the prescribed manner and contrary to the provisions of law the government cannot direct or extend the period of detention up to the maximum period of 12 months in one stroke ignoring the Cautious legislative intention that even the order of extension of detention must not exceed three months at any one time one should not ignore the underlying principle while passing order of detention or extending the detention period from time to time normally a person who is detained under the provisions of the act is without facing trial which in other words amount to curtailment of his liberties and denial of civil right in such cases whether continuous detention of such person is necessary or not is to be assessed and reviewed from time to time taking into consideration these factors the legislature has specifically provided the mechanism at very board to review the detention of a person passing a detention order for a period of 12 months at a stretch without proper review is determined to the right of the detention hence the impugned government order directing detention for the maximum period of 12 months is straightway cannot be sustained in law Thus, from the above, the court says, thus from the above, the court said, it is evident that in this court took the view that, that this court took the view that subsection 2 of more particularly the provision to subsection is in respect to the operation of the order of detention. To put it in other words, the time period for which detention is to be detained. In the aforesaid context, we may say with profound respect that does not lay down the correct law. I have chosen, the main purpose of choosing this judgment was only because this judgment is overruling Cheru Kurun Mani has nothing, subsection 2 of section 3 has nothing to do with period of detention in the branch completely misread the entire provision. We are of the view that section 3 in bracket 2 is with respect to the delegation of power by the state government upon the district magistrate or commissioner of police. As the case may be for exercise of power under subsection 2 of section 3 of act. 
the period as mentioned in section 32 of act 1986 referred to the period of delegation of power and it has no relevance at all to the period for which a person may be detained. It appears that the attention of the learned judges while deciding Chayagamari Pura was not invited to a three bench judgment of this court in T. Devaki 1990, wherein the court has held that. Placing reliance on section 3.2, Mr. Garg urged that since the impugned detention order did not specify the period for which the detention was required to be detained, the order was rendered illegal. On analysis of section 3 of the act as quoted, we find no merit in the submission. So, Isme no ye bola hai last me, ke this judgment uh, ke जो डिटेंशन पीरियड है तीन साल का और तीन महीने का जो पास तीन तीन महीने की बातें कर रहे हैं इनके वकील साहब वो गलत है वो गलत है एट ए स्ट्रेस डिटेंशन ऑर्डर कैन बी पास फॉर 12 मंथ्स द ओनली थिंग इज दैट एडवाइजरी बोर्ड शुड कंफर्म द ऑर्डर विद इन अ पीरियड ऑफ 3 मंथ्स that very board has to confirm the detention order within three months, stating that there is sufficient cause for detaining him. That's it. I told you, I will stop this. If you like it, you can stop it.